What is up, Pro Gamers, and welcome to the debut of this new minor Let's Play, as promised, with Tunisia in the Tunisian Empire. This was requested by John Rainville. I kept my promise, and this is for you, man, since you requested this. Let's play with Tunisia, and you've been a long-time supporter of Adobe World Gaming and still currently supporting me as well, so thank you so much. Uh, I understand if you're busy, you know, with anything right now in life, and if you can't catch up to my streams or even my videos, I understand. Uh, I'm like that as well. I have trouble streaming all the time, and sometimes I'm just lazy to upload anything at all because I'm just so fatigued and exhausted from work. And I've been getting more hours. And this week is going to be a crucial week again, guys. Here's the start times. That's too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my goodness. But now they were updated. We got a new. What is the schedule actually? <laughs> I don't know why I got. I don't. I don't even know why I'm showing you guys my my work schedule. Like what the hell? What, why? Well, they updated it. But I'm still gonna be tired, nonetheless. So. We'll see how I feel for this week if I want to try to stream at least once this week. Um, did I stream at all last week? I don't th think I did. Nope, I did not. But anywho, uh, back to Tunisia. I really don't know what the goal of this minor Let's Play uh, Let's Play is. Uh, I know that it was requested again by John Ra John Rainville. This is for you, man. But I really don't know the what the goal is for this minor Let's Play. I also started Kosovo, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Uh, in that Let's Play, at least I have something going on. I'm trying to, well, not take the entire Balkans, but maybe try to uh, take a few countries here and there and probably, probably take Romania as my final nation. So, yeah, I've got somewhat of a goal in that minor Let's Play. But for Tunisia, uh, I really haven't thought about it at all yet. I have made alliances actually with a couple of nations including Egypt, Turkey, and two European nations, why not, Italy and France across the Mediterranean. So I have that going on for me. I do know that I want to annex one European nation, that's only Malta, the island nation of Malta, yes that's it. And uh, I'm going to try to annex Libya, and then after that. I really don't know what I want to do after that. Should I keep going towards Algeria and Morocco? Maybe even Western Sahara as well included. But again, it's a minor let's play. I don't want it to be more than five, six, or even ten parts. Yeah, ten parts is too much for a minor. Uh, that's why I have two categories, guys. Major and minor let's plays. And hopefully next week, I can finally take a break. Uh, uh... I could finally take a break on playing Supreme Ruler and focus on the other games. Again, Europa 4 and Hearts of Iron 4 mods. Because, again, that's what I talked about in my State of the Channel address for Adobe World Gaming. I want to try to take a break on Supreme Ruler and hopefully increase my views again with playing Hearts of Iron 4 and Europa 4. And I can make a lot, of, a lot more progress in Supreme Ruler, especially for my Let's Plays and Verses that people request on stream. Again, Twitch below at WG. so that's what I'm going to try to do Croatian domination I want to uh, stream that and finish it there same thing with Russia versus USA and get started on India versus China the other big major versus there so I've got a lot going on right now Otakon is around the corner as well so I got to get ready again I've said this a couple of times already a few times I got to get ready for the anime convention uh, got to get my money ready got to get my cosplay ready uh, even though it's like three, four weeks away, I still want to try to get ready and remember some of the quotes from some of the animes that I'm going to try to cosplay. Or just one, actually, from Steins Gate. Alright, so, whatever. Enough of that. Let's go normal speed for now. Tunisia, total of 130 units being used right now. My economy, or my GDP, was increasing a lot. It's already March. It's at 16,046, as you can see. Uh, Puerto Rico doesn't count ahead of Croatia and right behind Hungary and then my total army staff roughly 61,000 so that's around here ahead of Angola and right behind the other northern African nation Morocco Libya is also ahead so that is my main target right now my first target is Libya and then I'll head for a uh, for uh, the European island nation of Malta and the Mediterranean Sea 
the only European nation I'll be annexing again. For remembrance, uh, France has declared war on Switzerland, and I will support. <laughs> I know that Tunisia was a colony back then, a French colony, French Tunisia. So that's why I made an alliance with France, even though I don't think people like France or something like that. I don't know. Also, congrats to France on winning the uh, 2018 World Cup in Russia. I mean, my heart was going with Croatia. I was supporting Croatia, but in my mind. I knew it was going to go to France. I knew France was going to score like three goals. I wasn't expecting four goals. Well, I mean, there was an own goal from Croatia. But still, it was 4-2, to two, final score, and France wins their second World Cup. So still, congrats to the French national team. Now we got to wait another four years for the Qatar, or I should say uh, Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup. Qatar. I have a, a friend over there at work. He said, uh, don't say it. Well, I mean, he just said it's pronounced Qatar, not Qatar or Qatar. Qatar. That's the English way. Qatar. I mean, whatever. Qatar. Qatar. Some people have been telling me it's Qatar. No, it's not even Qatar. Fuck off. I'll pronounce it and I'll say how I want to say it. Qatar, whatever. All right, Qatar 2022, and then North America in 2026. I'll be like 30-something years old. I got offers from Chile, U.S., and Russia, and I will accept all of them. Boom. My economy is great right now. My population is booming. My economy is booming. Tourism is dropping, though. Unemployment is dropping. Credit rating is increasing. My GDP, wait a minute, 14,000. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's 16,000. Okay. So... 82 land units, 82 land units, 16 air units, and 32 naval ships. By the way, I've built a few units for Tunisia and also bought a few units for other uh, Arab countries and Europe European countries, including Egypt, France, and Turkey. Uh, I didn't want to build too many. I just wanted to buy some and get ready to go to war instantly. So I bought some naval units, air units, land units from Egypt and other numerous allies. All right, so declare war on Libya and see how this ends up. Again, Libya's military is slightly more larger compared to Tunisia's military. And the U.S. and Canada do not like me at all, and they're still going to send me offers probably. All right, so there's a patrol ship of Libya there. Let's push on 21 units and wait for the Libyan military. All right. Now, I've been focusing a lot on Supreme World Ultimate, by the way. I know that 2020 is there. Same thing with Great War and the other Supreme World games, the standalone versions. But the reason why I always play Ultimate and make the Versus or Let's Plays in Supreme World Ultimate is because, uh, again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The View Empire feature, love it. Uh, the colonizing, annexing, and liberating feature, absolutely love it as well. And then... The best part of it, the best part of all, the assistance, the support of your allies. If you go to war, your allies, one of them or two, depending, uh, I know I can name a few, Romania, Greece, uh, Bulgaria, those are the few allies that come to support me every time I try to play somewhere around the Balkans, uh, Balkans region or somewhere around Eastern Europe, they come and assist me. So that is why I usually do my Let's Plays in Supreme Ultimate because I have allies backing me up in the wars. I kind of don't like going alone anymore. I rather have I rather have a friend or two in there trying to back me up. Wow, the U.S. is sending me what is that? Twenty-five conventional missiles? Holy shit, man! The United States is sending me like twenty-five, roughly twenty-five conventional missiles. Raptors or something like that, and yes, my electric power. There's always electric shortages going on here. All right, so the Libyan military is nowhere to be seen right now. Fog of War is enabled. That's how I'm playing my games now. Fog of War will always be enabled now. By the way, Finland has been annexed by Russia in this in this save. France, Switzerland again already at war, and uh, I think China and doing their own thing over there, I don't know, Mongolia. 
Okay, seriously, where the hell is Libya at? No way. I, I got a village. I got a village. Zuwara. Russia has declared war in Japan. Condemn. The fuck? Alright, I got another village. Damn it, Libya, where the hell are you? Stop teasing me. Oh my, ow. Shooting missiles at me right now. That kinda hurts. Oh, there's their air units. They gotta come now. Uh oh. Something's going on over there with their AI. They're trying to deploy their units, but they just can't deploy. They're just redeploying, deploying, redeploying, deploying. You get the gist. That usually happens sometimes. It's really weird. But sometimes the game or the AR or something just messes up randomly at some certain point and the units try to deploy but they just go back into the barracks and just deploy again and just redeploy deploy redeploy and it just happened there we go I don't know I mean that was just the fog of war I gotta repair you now you too get on out alright so let's bring some more reinforcements here I'm using a bunch of BABs from France, by the way. Main infantry vehicle. Whoa. As you can see, they just... Oh, I don't know what the AI is doing. Alright, that tank's finally out. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. We got some tanks out here. I really gotta be careful here, though. I haven't even destroyed one of their units yet, I think. Only one unit killed. They just keep going back into their barracks. Got one there. Alright, here comes Libya's military. That's what I'm waiting for. I want them to push on here. Reel them in. Reel the bait. Oh gosh, come on. I didn't even get him. I got him. Got a helicopter there. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, Terribilis. No garrisons at all. It's just that those missiles and air units hurt the most. Oh, come on. What the? That's an Abrams over there. I got that M1A1 Abrams from uh, Egypt. And for some reason, it's out of fuel. For, like, no apparent reason. Come on. I don't want to lose that Abrams yet. Got another war breaking out in the world. Iran, Turk, or Kurdistan. Wow, I've never seen that. I will support, why not? Doesn't matter. It's a random save. Alright, Leopard. Leopard, get out. Leopard, fucking get the fuck. Oh, jeez. No fuel. AI. Just messing up already. No dilly dally. But that's what the AI is doing. Oh, no, pushing in. Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> oh. There we go. I've only lost one unit out of that. Nice. But now... God damn it. Fucking fuel, man. Libya sending more reinforcements now. Which I knew already. They had a couple in there still. Let's repair a couple. Units now. M113. Engineer. That's if they can make it. Somebody got destroyed. They got fucked up. I'm not trying to destroy all of your military. I want to keep some of your infantry vehicles, you know. Come on, one more AA vehicle. Triple A, double A vehicle. Hell yeah. What's in there? Oh, I haven't. Now he's got a hold. No, what is the AI doing? Why? For some reason, some update has been doing that. I don't know what the problem is, but... Uh, this AI 
AI just gets in my head. Oh, jeez. I really want an AI update or an engine update. Something like that. Timer's crying. Shut the... Flip her up. Hold the line. There we go. God damn. Fuck, man. Almost lost my head there. Whoa. Those are all of Libya's units? Were they coming this way? I can't tell, to be honest. No, they were heading back. What the heck's happening? They were trying to uh, reorganize and head down to uh, Sabah. But for some reason... They weren't heading for the capital city to assist. Wow, look at all these offers. Wow, you want my money? Okay, shit. I'll accept all that, for, especially from the United States. Greedy. I know. Because I'm from there. Alright, so 42 unit kills, 3 unit losses against Libya. Uh, not bad, to be honest. Let's check the view empire here. Boom. That's what I like right there. So, Malta will be my next target in part 2 of Tunisia. In this minor let's play. And then, I'll head for the big one. Algeria. And then after that, I don't know where this let's play is going to go. Because, again, there is no goal. I haven't made a goal for it. It's just a minor let's play, so we'll see how far this goes. But John Rainville, it's for you, man. Finally got to it. A Tunisian let's play. And uh, let me check the economy, too. 15,000 dropped. Total army has increased to 100,000. Ahead of the Netherlands and right behind Kazakhstan. Sweet. How is France and Switzerland? Switzerland is holding the ground over there. A major river. And then finally, Russia was or declared war on uh, Japan. They're also at war with uh, China, by the way. Fog of War is enabled. That's right. All right, so this is where part one of Tunisia ends, guys. Again, leave your suggestions, leave your comments, any feedback. If you have any questions, just let me know. Streams. Hopefully, I can stream whenever I can this week. And next week, I can focus on the other RTS games. As always, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.